Um, well, the work that I've been doing in the last two years and what I'm really interested in at the moment is the relationship between music and violence, or music and the ability to kind of pro be provocative or shocking in some way, but particularly with reference to violence. And also the relationship between music and text and spoken text. So a lot of the work I've been doing in the last couple of years has been incorporating spoken text into music and music into spoken text. And so that also has kind of elements of theatre in it um, and poetry. So I've been working with a couple of poets. Um, yeah, and so I'd say that definitely kind of avenues that I want to carry on expanding. Most of that's been so far in kind of concert music and then at the moment um, I'm kind of working on several opera projects which will obviously take that more into the theatrical domain. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much what I'm interested in musically. Um, what have you been most sort of pleased with in the last, like what was the last project that you really you thought, oh this is good? Yeah, well actually the last two pieces, reasonably big pieces that I did this year were both settings, settings, uses of some poetry by this poet called Simon Howard and they were in exactly what I just described really, incorporating spoken text into chamber music. So they, they, it was either in one instance um, kind of for professional singers speaking texts with a string quartet and then in the other instance it was a kind of um, just one of the musicians so a, a non-trained vocalist if you like um, narrating poetry over music as well um, which kind of sounds like maybe a bit old hat or conventional but it was really looking at like how you incorporate the text in a, so that it has a proper musical role rather than um, and how the music has a proper role in the poetry rather than just a kind of like uh, kind of karaoke set up here's a bit of music and we just you know do Jack and Ori over the top um, and actually I was really really pleased with both pieces and they definitely kind of excited me about the potential of that and for continuing in that kind of direction um, and those are the numbers ones? Yeah, they're the yeah. numbers. Numbers 76 to 80, which was Tristan and Isolde, and then numbers 91 to 95, which are both poems from the series called Numbers, which is 1 to 100, um, which is a whole collection of poems, and I'd definitely be interested in doing more, more of those as well. That was the Wasps one, wasn't it? There was one Wasps, which was a string quartet, was and, awesome. then, <laughs> and then there was another one, which was um, for a festival in Vienna with a, Ber a Berlin group, which was numbers 91 to 95, which was more um, kind of reflective and less aggressive than the Wasps one and it was more kind of about nostalgia and forgetting and me memory and, um, and dreams kind of thing mm. like the intersection between memory and reality I suppose mm. and, and what is it that um, what is it that draws you to violence for that <laughs> Well, I love it as a kind of aesthetic in other arts. So, like, my favourite, one of my favourite books is American Psycho. I mean, the film's kind of awful, but the book's amazing. And also, you like, when it's an aesthetic in films and in, in art films, not, I'm not interested in the Hollywood kind of just ridiculous gratuitous as violence but when it's really um, like an actual aesthetic tool of expression and when when the way that it's expressed is really thought about in like the visual arts or in film or literature when it really has a kind of a role in the form on the structure when you know that story couldn't be told without it kind of thing um, and it, you know in the way it can be done in a way that's like quite stylish or like actually beautiful as well as being quite difficult to watch maybe or yeah. to read or to see um, and also I think it's like it does you know 
it's it's not something which should be censored. It does tell us if it's done properly. It does tell us a lot about mortality and yeah. the human condition and our own vulnerability, as as it were. And it's interesting <coughs> that you you talk about talk about violence in a kind of sort of violence as an abstract noun, and you talk about it rather than kind of you know p- people punching people or people getting. Are there any particular when you think about violence, what is it physically that you're thinking of? Or is it a feeling? Uh, it's not a phys- yeah, it's not a physical thing. It's more, I think, because the only way it's really effective is it, is it is if it has some kind of psychological or emotional yeah. meaning to it. So, which is why the Hollywood violence of you know a kind of Schwarzenegger film or something just yeah. doesn't mean anything because there is no. Base, there's no foundation for it really it's just you know yeah. gratuitous in that sense and a sort of a pornographic kind of that really yeah. it's all about men getting hit or it's a bit like penetration isn't it or something it's just, you know what I mean it's kind of yeah, like just it just it's goes, a way of demonstrating our manliness or our kind of it's just like oh well, we're going to yeah. hit each other rather than yeah you know, exactly it has no meaning whereas um, there are, so, for example, in, in, in American Psycho, it, it really does have a, a structural role in the book, a, a, in the formal structure, and also like a, a meaning about psychosis and, 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 I suppose, in that sense, like, someone going mad, but... Um, I, have, I haven't read it, you see, so... Oh, you I really have to, you yeah. have to read I got it. put off by the film, I thought it was all about business oh, cards. Oh, the film, well... Yeah, that's it's not all about business cards. So the business cards are very important, but um, the film is terrible. You have to have to read the book. It's a masterpiece. But um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, me- meaning. And the other thing is, I think that violence. Like you can also just think about violence in terms of a formal, like aesthetic, which doesn't isn't representational. So I would say that you know, like a canvas that. It's like a, a white canvas with a red line of painted across it that's then kind of torn in two and hung on the wall like that. that I mean, that is a kind of violent yeah. form, if you like, even though it's not representational at all. Yeah. So also, like, looking at that in music or theatre or any other art, like, yeah. is a, something interesting. And you like bacon like, as well, I guess. Yeah, exactly. Like, any kind of fissure or disruption or... Um, yeah, I suppose like um, <clears throat> you you might I suppose a bit like Ian McEwan novels or something. You can often say that they usually begin with some kind of violent or like abnormal fissure in daily life, and then yeah. the the rest of the book usually just analyses the fallout of that. Yeah, in most of his books. 